audio is recording, video is recording. Are you recording? Yeah. I'm recording. Good, 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 good. Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of V Time, episode 143. We keep trucking along. We got a, uh, seven more away from the big 150. Pretty much. I'm going to do something special for that one, but we're going to get to that later. Uh, for right now, we just got a lot of lyrical still to talk about. Two new Rylands to cover, and still one more Ryland to go next week. We got a couple of interesting cards for Boost Set 7, as well as Velstra's full support. Mm. And then a lot of good news and a lot of. Not so good news. <laughs> a lot of um, funny, interesting, and bad at the same time news. Uh, that's more than I would like. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go straight into it. But before that, if you're interested in buying any cards from TCG Player, please use our fill link down below. Your purchases through this link help support the channel so it can bring more great videos like this straight to you guys. And with that scripted part away, let's go straight into the leaks. Starting us off with, like I said, some lyrical cards. Uh, mm -hmm. These are the extra support cards for the uh, Leafa deck, the Giant Girl deck, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, not in my opinion, they are. Because we got first a rare Elegant Afternoon Lacrine. Lacrine. She's a grade 3, 13k base with a very interesting ability. Continuous rearguard during your turn. This unit cannot attack the vanguard. And this unit gets power 10k. So it's a 23k that cannot swing at the vanguard. Normally it's bad. But in Alifa you can boost with it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. It's a 23k booster in a deck that does exactly that. It's like, actually proved itself in our game testings. Yeah. Oh my god, just imagine just putting it behind Vanguard. Here's a 33 to your one, uh, 8. <laughs> 36. Jesus. Oh, we have 30. Wait, I, I, I did that in some of our games, I think. Regardless, we're going to move on to the card that got leaked with her. Another card for Leafa. Uh, on the verge of being late, Pulfa. Uh, auto, when this unit is placed on Rearguard, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard Leafa in its card name, Choose a grade 2 or less normal unit will you'll fight in its card name from your drop and you put it into your soul. If you put a card, this unit gets 5k until the end of turn. The deck needs soul, so this is a very good card to kind of put back the ride line that you soul blasted. The only problem is you need to soul blast that ride line and timing is a bitch. It's not like the ghost one. Ghost one's like, okay, cool, here, do all the things. In the, like, mm. in the perfect world, you call the grade three, so blast to draw a card, and then activate this ability to put the cards you so blasted, or at least one of them, back into soul. Uh, to get perfect timing like that, you got to be someone other than me. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're gonna just move on, and we're gonna cover some interesting Keter support. Well, they're not interesting. They're commons. They're Keter. Take it away, Alex. Uh, Knight of Enmity, a uh, nine? Ein. Ein. Uh, auto, when this unit is retired from rear guard by any player's card ability, if your hand has three or less cards, draw a card. So when I first read this, I thought it was like, eh, it's just okay, overlord support. And then I realized this is really good overlord support. <coughs> because it says any player's turn. Yep. Which means you can use the blitz order for overlord to retire it to gain power and then draw a card. That's also if you have a, the, you know, two little cards in hand, but yeah, per but I mean, if you're guarding out and then you can just save your shield for like toward the end. Mm hmm. I mean, for a common, not bad at all. No. And then we got another common. Uh, Knights of Gale. Kyenberga. Uh, Kyenberga. I think it's a good enough. Continuous rear guard. Darren, uh, during your turn, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, it gets power plus 5, so it becomes a 13k grade 1. I think we're going to see a lot of these. Lyrical just... cards are starting to slowly dip into other nations. Exactly. <laughs> I think we're just going to see a lot of these 13k boosters. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad, but you got better stuff. Anyway, speaking of better stuff, um, last week we talked about Velstra and uh, his orders and his set orders and his cannons. Uh... 
and this week on the Tuesday stream, we got some more support for those cannons. Uh, and then honestly, it came down in really good support because we got first Blitz mechanic, uh, Start. That's actually how you say it. That's Start. I want anyway. people to just pronounce that horribly. Dude, it, it's German. Don't worry about it. Anyway, his ability is Act Rearguard. If your opponent's Vanguard is Grade 3 or Greater, Cannon Plus 1 put a Heavy Strike Cannon Fortress Freischutz. That's a Grade 2 order. Uh, from your order zone into your drop and retire this unit. Choose up to one Mobile Fortress Obliteration Freischutz Maximum from your hand and put it into your order zone. So basically, this card for a CB and retire itself. Puts the grade two order from the order zone uh, into the drop, and then the grade three order from your hand into the order zone. So that way, if you go second, hey, you can do the shenanigan. Yeah. I mean, you I minus mean, quite a bit, but I mean. It's a minus it's two to basically gain the upper hand, in a sense, or at least do yeah. your mechanic. I mean, you, you're on the receiving end of it. How did it feel? When you, need, when you need more cannons, man. <laughs> get <you> more cannons. <laughs> uh, the other card that got leaked is something that we did see in the anime and we kind of predicted we're going to get. Uh, Blitz Engineer Hoflio. Uh, auto. When this unit is placed on rearguard, when placed, if you did not operate a product this turn, Cannon Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose a product card in your order zone and operate it. Activate its operate ability. Uh, continues during your turn if you're operating a product this turn this unit gets power 5k so he's basically another way to operate your cards honestly now that i double read him i can't remember in the video if i accidentally used two of his own abilities i don't think i did because uh Velstra never did. gained 15. <laughs> yeah but it's a good way to operate twice that way you can operate your grade three twice neck the neck five then twice retire two units or if you don't have your grade three, just re start retiring or negging power. Overall, it's just good utility. Mm -hmm. And then the banger gains 10k because of it. I mean, these are simple shit four cards. There's not much to talk about. It, it does what the deck wants to do, and it's a 13k very on its deck. own. The what? It's a very linear deck. You want to get the big fortress on the rear guard or in the order zone, and then it gets on the rear guard, and you just punch face, and that's it. Yep. Anyway, moving on, we're going to start talking about another ride line, though. This time's the thing that Hexor should have been. It should have been. I'm I'm, I'm telling you now, I, I don't know what they were smoking with this deck when they built it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, to work harder, Medell. I think it's a needle. needle? Mediel. Mediel. Uh, normal starter effect. Pretty much straightforward. Moving on. Uh, next we have Sheltered Girl of the Pharmacy Mido. Uh, auto, when this unit is rode upon by a grade two with the Vanguard name and this card name, choose up to one grade two or less card from your drop and call it to rear guard. If you called, you reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a trigger unit, rest the unit that was called by this effect. Yay, early game pressure with grave recursion. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then grade two, making smiles bloom, you know. Auto, when this unit is rode upon by grade three with the Vanguard's uh, card name, uh, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up the one from among them and put it back on the top of your deck and discard the rest. Just stack. Hard stack. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't stress this enough. But why are we stacking? Why are we putting shit in the drop? Why are we doing any of this? Because this is apparently great nature, but it does not look like great nature. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. <laughs> um, fondant Solis Mido. Uh, act Vanguard once per turn. Counterblast 2. Reveal the top card of your deck and perform the following according to his card type. If it's a normal unit that was revealed uh, to your... Uh, revealed, uh, bleh, put the revealed card <laughs> to your hand. Choose a card from your drop, you call it to rear guard, and it gets a crit. Then if it's a trigger unit, you counter charge one, and you choose a card from your drop and you call it to rear guard. So no matter what, you're calling something from rear guard, from drop to rear guard. But if it's a normal unit, you get to put it to your hand and give a crit, and if it's not, you get the counter charge. Isabel, is that you? 
<laughs> I mean, it literally is literally the the lottery mechanic. Yeah, when I was actually mechanic. putting it in the drop, just leaving it on the fucking top of the deck. Yeah. I will say though, whenever we first read this card, CB2 seemed like a very, very expensive cost. Even though you do counter charge one if you reveal a trigger, still C mm -hmm. being two to kind of plus one, put one on board and get it, give it a crit, didn't sound that appealing. Until we saw the other cards. Yeah, no shit. Uh, uh, Meddlesome Wellness Committee Phyllis. Art Rear Guard. Once per turn, cost counter. Soul Blast 2. Choose one of your grade three or greater vanguards with the middle in its card name. <clears throat> Until the end of turn, it gets power plus five. Oh, I forgot the other power when their game plays. That's supposed to gain five. Okay. Hashtag reading is hard. It is hard. And, <laughs> and the cost of its act ability becomes counter blast one. Then it has auto rear guard. <laughs> when your other unit is placed on rear guard from your drop, it gets power plus five until the end of turn. I am actually super curious to see if that 5k mattered <laughs> at any moment. That high kick, I'm a laugh suit too, if it mattered. <laughs> oh, now I'm actually curious. Uh, I'm going to have to go look, go back and look at the video. I was so fed up with it makes my reduced counter blast one that I completely forgot about the whole 5k <laughs> interface. Uh, but no, I mean, that that's the thing though. The counter blast, making it counter blast one matters a lot because basically, yeah. if you hit a trigger on the top, you just paid for the cost. Pretty much. You just soul blasted, which technically isn't that big of a cost. And then, you, you know, the Vanguard does. Other cards that help you build your soul. Yeah. And then the Vanguard does bring one card back from the drop. So this is a 13k booster. Um,. I wish it only said at 13k. We're going to get to another card that fucking breaks this shit. Yeah, I know. It, it's going to be a lot more than 13. Uh, next up, we have uh, Dearly Flowers Elise. Uh, continuous rear card during the battle that attacked the Great 3 or Greater Vanguard against Power Plus 5. Uh, and then Auto, when this unit is placed on drop by the ability of a Great 3 or Greater Vanguard with uh, Medell and his card name. This unit gets auto rear guard at the end of the battle that your vanguard attack. You can soul blast one to stand this unit to the end of turn. So that, that's why the crit's fucking important. Put this on the board, give it a crit, and it restands. Yep. And the good thing is, is if you're go if it's a gray two, well, you're still gonna hit. If it's a gray three, well, it gets plus five k, so it's still gonna hit. So no matter what, it hits on hits the vanguard on its own. Unless yep. There's some magical power buff that we don't know about. I will say the triple rear is good, like four attacks with potentially two of them being crits. Not bad potential. I forgot one thing to mention about that grade one double rear though. Um, premium implications. Oh God, yeah. Because that thing changes anything's act ability to counter blast one. You could be soul blast and it's now a a counter blast one. It could be persona flip and now it's counter blast one. It can be any cost and that cost gets changed for counter blast one. You There's, mean like the shoo shoo card uh -huh. that returns five rear guards to your deck to draw three cards, gain power, and a crit? Uh huh. Nah, you don't yeah. return none. You don't return Jack Diddley. You just straight draw. So, this premium implication for Bermuda is going to be a little bit stupid. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm going to leave that to the people who play premium to break it. I'm just going to stick in standard and enjoy my, uh, uh, you know, ride line. <laughs> Anyway, we got two more cards for Mediel that really do help the deck. Uh, Solace La 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 Lay La La Lay Minon. Uh, auto when this unit is placed on rear guard. If you have a Vanguard with Mediel and his card name, look at the top card of your deck and put that top card of your deck on it. Put it back on the top or into your soul. If you put a card into your soul, you get to look at the top card of your deck. Where is this for Hexorb? Jesus Christ. <laughs> where the <laughs> fuck is this for Hexorb? The best type of stacking. Let me look at the top card of my deck. Ah, uh, no, this is not good. Soul, give me your resource. Let me look at the top card of my deck. <laughs> Hexorb needs soul resource as what well. This card should have been in Hexorb. This fixed so many things in this deck and so would have fixed everything in Hex Orb. <laughs> everything. Jesus fucking Christ. And then the other card that I was talking about earlier that kind of breaks Talented. that great one. Talented Diva Astri. Uh, act, or sorry, not act. Auto drop zone. 
If your, van your rear guard was placed by the ability of a grade three or greater vanguard with Medill in this card name, cost Challenger Blast to one and call this card to an open rear guard. Now we'll say it is an auto when your rear guard is placed, you activate yes. it. I don't think but, it really mattered in the gameplays we did. No, I there was a moment where I was trying to go and I stopped myself because I realized it was an auto, but it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, mm. really. Because your Vanguard's an axe, so you can kind of set up your board ahead of time to be ready for whenever these things go off. Exactly. But this makes that grade one that reduces your cost um, really dumb because the auto to give Fluff K is not once per turn. So if you have a bunch of these in your drop, you can just make a full board from nothing because you discard these for your ride line. And then that grade one just starts getting bumped up in power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun stuff. Like, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Away from fun stuff, we're actually going to go jump into set seven again. We'll look at some other commons. This time for the crossover dress, or honestly, even overdress deck. Uh, we got Blaze, Hook, Monk, Nisha. Uh, he's a grade three uh, common. Auto when this unit is placed on rear guard. If you have a rear guard with two or more original dress, Soul Blast won't choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Definitely meant for crossover dress because almost every single thing that you have in crossover dress is going to have two or more. But mm -hmm. it can be also for overdress because you do have Expecta, you ha do have Esperalda. So you're going to have units with two or more original dresses. So if you need a Soul Blast Retire mechanic, hey, he this is your guy. I know, but my, my thing about the about these kind of cards, like I love them. I love that they support, you know, the, mm -hmm. everything like that. It's just, man, overdress and crossover dress are so tight in cards already. It's just like, you'll never see this card. No, not really. Anyway, now we get to the other ride line. And I'll be completely honest, I actually like the way this ride line not only looks, but also plays. I'm probably going to pick up this damn deck. But this it's is the... fun to see the play test of this. I know, right? This is the Brinkgate girl that came from Brinkgate into Lyrical type deck. Because she is basically an Android robot girl battle roid whatever you want to call her uh and mm -hmm. we're going to start off of course like always with a grade zero afternoon dance lesson meet uh meet you dude she's got machine guns <laughs> <laughs> that's all i need to know she's got machine guns <laughs> we're good <laughs> and cannons we're balling <laughs> anyway actually look at since she is a brink game inspired unit you kind of ca can figure out what she's going to be doing but she got a little bit of extra spice that we didn't, weren't actually prepared for and that is the fact that she is a glitter we got happy shopping meet you a lyrical glitter unit uh auto when this unit is placed by riding from a grade zero would meet you in its card name search your deck for up to one all set Put it into your order zone and shuffle your deck. And of course, it's got the glitter mechanic, which we all already know what it is. Um, mm -hmm. All set is a set order. We're going to get to it here in a bit. I just want to cover the ride line first. Uh, so we're going to talk about Sparkling Summer Meet You. Uh, the grade two. Auto, when this unit is placed by riding from the grade one with Meet You in its card name. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Nokuno, which... Since it is glitter, that's the the support card. And it's card name or a cannonball card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Um, we're going to get to Nonika later. She was supposed to be the dual nation, but we're going to get to that again later. <laughs> uh, but the set orders for this deck, yes, they are cannonballs. And there's more than one. She's getting more love than Eva ever did. Um... I don't know. Eva got some love just on the way people wanted. Yeah, later in a promo, that's not fifty fucking bucks in Japan. Anywho, let's actually look at the main gray three first to head towards a dream. Meet you. Uh, act Vanguard once per turn. If your order zone has all set, cost Cannabis one. Draw a card. Choose a card from your hand and call it to rearguard or discard it. This reminds me of Leonorn. <laughs> This, uh, uh, this, this feels a lot like Leonard. Uh, and then Cannonball. Auto Vanguard. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it, and this unit gets power 5k until the end of that battle. And of course, she also has the glitter so you can, you know, do the things. 
Um, now, she does have the keyword cannonball. That does not mean she's a cannonball card, which means the great dude does not search a persona right. Let's just get that clear right now. <laughs> no, that'd be hilarious if it did. No, no, no. A cannonball card. She is not a cannonball card. She's a card with a cannonball keyword. That's two different things. All right. Let's actually look at the cannonball set orders. First, we got the first one. The one that you put into your order zone with your grade one. All set. More than likely going to be playing... Uh, actually, I need to double check real quick. Uh, search your deck for up to one. Okay, so yeah, it's like jail. So if it's in your hand, it's not going to work. So play two of it. Uh, <laughs> all set. Uh, act order zone. If you have a Vanguard Metreant's card name, rest this card, Soul Charge one. Choose up to one Cannonball card from your hand and put it into your order zone. So it's an order that lets you play more orders. Why do you for, go for it? I'm trying to remember. Was this also a Cannonball card or no? Yes. Yeah, uh, you can see it where they usually put them in the wiki. Wiki, you've been disappointing me. Um, I'm pretty sure this is also a cannonball card. I'm going to real quick double check. Uh, no, actually. Yes. No, no. This is just a set order. You're right. No. Oh. So this is not a cannonball. This is just a set order. Yeah, because I saw their card type and it just says set order. And I was like, wait, is it a cannibal? And I was like, mm -hmm. no. So this is just a set order, which means you can't use it to play itself, which is kind of sad, but oh well. Yeah, because um, I was going to say, like, this could be really good to play multiple in your deck because you can chain them off of each other and make cards like a uh, grade one from a few sets back that gain power off of set orders. Make it useful, but since it's not. Uh, well, it's okay because it does play the other set order that is a cannonball. Flo uh, flower cannonball. <laughs> It's a grade three set order. Uh, use it to grow up. Yeah. And uh, of course, the grade one set order bypasses the fact that it's a grade three. You can kind of already put it into the order zone on your turn one, turn two, if you have it in your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has a really cool ability. Play this with Cannabust one, or if you use a set order, just put it in the order zone. Uh, auto, when this card is put into your order zone, draw a card. <laughs> How many set orders would I love to have that? Uh, act order zone. If you have a grade three or greater card with me to its card name, put this card into your drop and change all of your Vanguard's cannonball abilities to auto Vanguard when this unit attacks. Soul Blast 2, choose three of your units that get power 10k until the end of turn. And, th and this effect is until the end of turn. <laughs> Um, that matters when we get to other cards we're going to talk about. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, this is an amazing card already. The fact that you can use the uh, grade one set order to put this in the order zone and draw a card immediately. You don't minus anything. Or this with uh, Jennifer we saw a while back when it's in the exactly. drop zone. You can discard a card to play it from drop and then you'll draw the card back because uh, the order gets discard a card and counter plus one if you're playing it you do need a cp yes. to put it in the order zone but jennifer does let you play it from your drop into the order zone and because it's never going to drop zone after you played it it doesn't go to the bottom of the deck which is exactly. fucking beautiful that Gen jennifer is going to be a fucking 20 dollar card i'm telling you man <laughs> um there's so many ways to easily put this in the order zone like the deck is very self-sufficient in that instance you put the right cards in um I think CB will be a problem, but there's a couple of fixers that I already know I'm going to be putting in. Yeah. So overall, this deck just looks really cool straight off the bat. And that's not mm -hmm. even... We're not even that's done. That's just the peak. That's not even the peak of the iceberg. No, we got still the, you know... Uh, Thegria has got Mabel. Rora has got his dragon girl. You know, stuff like that. This deck has shy singing voice Nokuno. She's a grade one, well, not dual nation, but she's got the glitter effect, which means if you have a Vanger with glitter, you can use the effect, but she's got a normal effect first. Auto drop, when a card is put into your order zone, if you do not have a unit with no, uh, no Kuno in its card name, so blast one and call this card to your back row center, rear guard. If there are two copies of this card in your drop, you can only call one of them. You can't cheese multiples. Um, so very reminiscent of Mabel. 
Uh, yes. And then Glitter would meet you, of course. Uh, auto, back row, center, rear guard. At the end of the battle, your Vanger attacked. If your opponent's Vanger is grade 3 or greater, counter blast 1. Need to move the attack box a little bit. <laughs> uh, discard a card, stand this unit, and swap your Vanguard and this unit's positions. At the end of the turn, swap the swapped units and this unit uh, and this unit's position. It does not move the soul. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, I think this is the first time ever we've seen this effect in Vanguard, where you actually swap your Vanguard with a rear guard, and the soul just stays. You just get a new Vanguard from a rear guard. I think the closest thing we got, and it uh, it wasn't even that close, was in V with Blau because they moved the rear guard to the bind zone and rewrote it. But that's yeah. not moving it. That's not swapping with the Vanguard. That's rewriting. Yeah, this is legit. Just swap. Like the grade three is going to be arrested in the back row. <laughs> and the funny part is, is you still gain a drive check. So you're still drive checking one. And you still do gain persona ride if you persona road. Yes. And we talked about the order and how the power is going to go to things that matter. It's going to go to your booster because it's going to be swapping mm -hmm. with an extra 10K. So it's probably going to be like a 28 on its own. Maybe like, more. Depending on how what happens, because you got to think... Um, just using the order ability to change the Vanguard's ability, turning it into so, uh, give three units 10k, you're definitely giving this 10k. That means your yes. Vanguard is already being boosted by 18k, which means your Vanguard on the first swing with Twin Drive is 31, mm -hmm. followed by an 18k. That's not if you ripped any triggers, because if you ripped any triggers, it's the Hex Orb thing of just put it on the booster and the Vanguard will still gain power. <laughs> And you're still going to have all that power on the follow-up on top of it. Exactly. And the discard a card, the swappers, doesn't hurt that because you're going to get a drive check because she's going to be in the Vanguard now. Like, I love this idea. I love this mechanic. This is this looks so much fun. It's so silly. And we're not done. We got more support cards. Um, yep. We got a grade 2 rare. Said schedule under adjustment Remori. Uh, auto rear guard. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, if your order zone has been prepared, this unit gets power 5k until the end of battle. Uh, like we said, pre prepared, I'm pretty sure is the grade one set order, right? Yes. I want to yes, double it check. It, no, it's all set. So I'm very confused. I think all set and pre prepared are the same card. It's probably just a translation. Exactly. Um, because otherwise, I don't think we have a card that's called Be Prepared, so I'd be very confused what the fuck was going Unless on. Unless it's the Cannonball or No, no, the Cannonball is Flower Cannonball. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, I can sure. remember. So I don't know what Be Prepared is. I honestly think it is the All Set, just translated differently, but I'm not sure. So this is very weird. I'm going to look into it. Uh, mm -hmm. But we're going to... Uh, oh, wait, oh, shit, I forgot the... Uh, when this unit uh, be prepared, this unit 5k. Uh, auto when this unit attack hits, soul blast one, choose up to one cannonball card from your drop and put it into your order zone. So I'm pretty sure it is all set is be prepared. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty sure, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm gonna look into this and then it puts your and you said it puts a order from your drop to your yeah, no. So basically, you can draw a card if you put the flower cannonball in there exactly like pretty much a soul blast one put the cannonball back into the order zone and draw a card on top of it yeah it's not a bad card it does need a hit so it does put some extra pressure on well you can't let this hit otherwise it's gonna do this stupid shit I'm, but then again on top of that you know you're probably not gonna let the vanguards hit exactly so it's gonna be interesting uh and then we have shutter chance ilsa uh, she's a grade one double rare auto rear guard when this when the attack this unit boosts hits a vanguard if your order zone has be prepared look at the top five cards of your deck choose up to one glitter or set order from among them reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck uh if you reveal the card put this unit on the bottom of your deck so it's a way to get your personas it's a way to get your uh you know main unit to put in the back row Mm -hmm. And it's also a way to get your set orders. And it also is an on hit, which is 
just more pressure, honestly. All right. All the pressure. I did quickly already clarify all said is be prepared. I don't know why on the wiki it's called all said, but in the Discord wiki it's called be prepared. I don't know what's going on. Wiki, come on. Trust you. <laughs> but we do have two more cards to kind of support this deck. We basically mm -hmm. got the whole deck. We got uh, Shining Bright, then the Sun, Weenie. Uh, or Vig Weenie, whatever. Uh, auto rear guard. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if be prepared, it is in your order zone. This unit gets power 5k until the end of battle, which makes it 18k. Then mm -hmm. put a set order from your drop on the bottom of your deck, and this unit gets power 5k until the end of battle. So it's a 23k beat stake, potentially 33 if you use the Vanguard's ability. Mm -hmm. um, and puts, you know, a cannonball back on the bottom of your deck. I don't know how much I like this card, to be honest. You're probably never going to use the cost to put it back to your bottom of your deck because you're going to want to keep it in your drop to keep using other skills to recycle it. Exactly. Because you got to understand, like, we do have access to Jennifer. Jennifer's just such an amazing card. So you don't want to really put cannonballs back in your deck. You don't want to oversaturate your deck with death cards. Because the only way to actually shuffle your deck from what I've been seeing is using the easel, the double rear we talked about a little while ago. But then she's definitely going to miss, or not miss, definitely, but she's the only way to actually shuffle the deck and try it again. So it's kind of weird, but if you really need a 23k beat stick, it's not a bad option. Exactly. Uh, and then last, but not least... I'm on st stage, Rono Ware. She's a grade two common, 8K grade two. Uh, continuous rare garden circle, if Beat is in your order zone, this unit gets power 5K shield, 5K. So it becomes a 13K beat stick and a, t a 10K shield. I love how the artwork is her playing a guitar, a broomstick like a guitar. Yep. <laughs> yep, yes it is. Um, but Overall thoughts about the deck, like I said, I am actually excited to play this. This is something that is piquing my interest very, very much. And I think I want to build it. <laughs> now, testing well, we'll might change you, my well, mind. I, yeah, well, yeah, but say, let's, let's see how you still let's see after playing it. And then well, we are putting it against the last ride line that looks like a uh, ghosty something type deck. So I'm going to be a little bit scared. I will say I like the themes that are going on so far. You got the giant girl that's from Keter. You got Michu. Ooh, shit. Uh, you got Michu that's from Brankgate. I want to say that uh, the Mani, uh, the the elf ride line we covered honestly mm -hmm. looks like something from Starkea. And then the next ride line that's coming out looks like something from Dark States. Right? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of darkish. We'll see when we see the cards. The only two that don't make sense are Kyoka, the hashtag deck. That's full on lyrical. I think that one's supposed to be yeah, full lyrical. And then, who am I forgetting? Who do we put Kyoka against? If you don't remember, then it's not important. It's the Har Harriet. The oh, Shushu yeah. Deck. Yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's definitely not Dragon Empire, so... Yeah. Overall, yeah. not bad. Anyway, that's it. Been it for the leaks this week. Uh, some really cool cards that here and there. Uh, we should be after, you know, after the last lyrical ride line. We should only be focusing on set seven, which is cool. I will say I, I was super skeptical about lyrical when we heard six new ride lines, but I gotta admit some of these ride lines are looking really, really cool. I just wish there was just a little little spice of like some of like the other six red lines you're not there. getting more of a list of support dude just come to terms put in jennifer and that's about it you're right that's probably the the largest support i'm gonna get to that deck anyway next week tuesday stream we, they will be revealing like i said the last red line for lyrical grimoire etiol leticia as well as the uh, last three LSRs. We kind of covered the LSRs already, so I'm not going to show that again. But next week on Tuesday as well, they're going to be revealing new cars for Booster 7. Uh, as well as more product information 
on the stride deck for Chrono Jet and some information for Vanguard Zero. And then for the Thursday stream, if I can scroll far enough, there we go. Uh, more cards for Booster 7 for Dragon Empire, a stealth unit, and Bob Sagara support. You peaked me with stealth units. <laughs> <laughs> You've caught my attention, good sir. <laughs> so yes, next week is going to be very interesting. Um, videos are basically kind of planned out on themselves. I I think I just realized something that might disappoint you greatly. Oh god, what now? I don't think Jennifer works with this deck. Why? Because I think Jennifer says a normal order. That fucking damn it. Now, hold up. Gotta scroll. Right. Gotta, gotta scroll all the way fucking back up just to find this one card that just might work. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Alright, let's see here. If you're four more units, this card or card, choose a fucking normal order from your drop and it gets hot. Ah, Jennifer, why you gotta betray me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, oh wow, that'd be really great with uh, cat girls. And I was like, wait, we probably said it didn't work with cat girls. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be fun in the comments, just telling people, D skip to this point. We corrected ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that opens up deck space a lot. I'm definitely playing for the fucking chick that's an on hit. Oh, this is going to be such a weird deck to play now. Mm. Anyway, uh, with that, let's go straight into the news section. But before that, if you're interested in buying any of the cards we just mentioned, go check out Triple Sleeve TCG. They got great deals on singles, clan splits, and even cases, so go check out their website. Link will be in the description. All right, we did mention the next year this year, they're going to be revealing more information for the Chrono Jet set, but they did leak this week some more information, and they blue-balled us a little bit. We're thinking <laughs> that we're going to get next stage's ability, but no, we did not. We just got more information and more teases. A uh, couple of things. I'm just going to be reading here verbatim because it's a lot easier. On G units in the G zone. Yes, the G zone is separate from the main deck and the ride deck in the G zone. Correction from last week's feed time. You can have 16 cards in the G zone and G zones have a red text on the bottom. Same as we know it in premium. Uh, G units can be put into your main, cannot be put into your main deck or ride deck. It is placed in the location visible to your opponent face down. So the same as how strides are right now. How do you stride? Well, the stride step within the right face takes place after the right step. If both your and your opponent's vanguard is grade three at the start, of, or your vanguard is, is grade three at the start of your turn, choose a card in your hand that fulfills the stride cost of the G unit you wish to stride. Discard them and stride the G unit from face down on your G zone. This basically means, yes, striding is the same as in premium with a catch. In the sense, the catch is the condition of stride. Before it was ditch a grade three, but the way this text is worded, each stride might have a different cost to stride. Which is going to be very interesting to see. Also, uh, I got some uh, fun little tidbits for you uh, when we get, get through all this. Which is? Uh, my opinion on something. I'll, I'll get All to right. Me. Well, we got to just keep moving on because then through it. we got cards below the G zone units are referred to as heart cards. I'm just going to skip all this. It's pretty heart straight stays the same. Everything stayed the it's same. The same. <laughs> it's literally stride. No, no different other than possibly costs of cards. Ay, yeah, yeah. If you're new to striding, just know that the striding unit has its name plus the bottom units that you use strode on's name. That bottom unit is the heart. It's not part of the soul. It's like a lot of these interesting rules that a lot of the veteran players already know. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of just explaining, but that's yeah. not the nit -brit. This, it, That's basically just saying stride is the same. Don't worry about it. <laughs> worry. What is what is big? What is big is the fact that we got the full deck list for the deck 
in the mm-hmm. sense of ratios and names already out. Yes. So here's the picture. You, those could, you could if I, I'm probably gonna find out if there's this English picture, it's up for us as Japanese. But fuck it, we got translations. Um, I'm just gonna go real quick from the bottom to the top. Uh, Chronodran stays. He is as always the starter. Uh, triggers of triggers, yada yada yada. But from the top to the bottom, first for the Great Threes, of course you're gonna get four Chrono Jet Dragon. I don't know why it says new in our translation. It's the fucking same card, but all right. Uh, and then three Steam Fighter Bali. For the Great Twos, you got one copy of Smoke Gear Dragon, more than likely your ride line card. Mm-hmm. Four copies of Upstream Dragon. And four copies of Steam Fighter Argenda. So As for the great w- old card, in on it. I think that might Argenda. Be. Well, we'll Google it here in a bit and see if anything pops up. <laughs> uh, for the great ones, your ride line card will be Ma- uh, Messer Gear Drag. Ooh, excuse me. And then we got a lot of great ones in this deck. Apparently, Steam Maiden R Lemon Four, Steam Brev Dragon F Four. Magnet Resonating Gear Caro F4, and she's back, Steam Scar GG at 4. Now, Arlem is going to be the PG. I'm already going to put throw this tidbit in here. Yes, she will be the effect PG of if you don't, if you have two or more cards in hand, you have to discard. Mm-hmm. So rejoice. Uh, like I said, triggers and over trigger reprints from previous sets. Chrono Gen's back. As for the G zone, we got four next stage and four interdimensional dragon, fate rider dragon, 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 dragon. We're here again. Interdimensional dragon of uh, bullshit. Is this a new unit? No, fate rider. Yeah, no, I can't it's remember. Old, it's old unit. It is fact from the first that it was the card that uh, flipped a copy. You bind a rear guard, you get a great rear guard with a great higher and then they for every piece oh, okay. of RNG zone power. It's very interesting that the G zone is max 16 cards and this uh, this deck only throws eight of them in there. Well, granted. Hint, wink, wink. We're going to uh-huh. get support in future sets for this deck, probably. Because uh-huh. you can't play more than four copies of a card. Yep. Uh, I will say, un- a one unknown card will be revealed on, thir- on August 30th on the Tuesday stream. That one unknown card is not part of the main deck. I don't think it's part of the stride deck, but we'll see what it is part of. So here's where my fun theory comes in. All right, let's see here. And this comes by looking at this. Oh, go back. Oh, shit. <laughs> it, come, come, it comes to this. Looking at this chart, you can already kind of guess what this is. So, G-guard? Mm-hmm. Because the borders <laughs> for strides always had a red bottom at the border. Uh huh. And this box for this mystery cards in green and uh, G, uh, G guards had a green border at the bottom. Ain't that great? So it might be, um, what's her name? Um, Uluru. Uluru? The Uluru G guard. I know and everybody was why... sad when Uluru wasn't a heel. And then, um, <laughs> that'd be really sad. <laughs> It is. I don't think it is actually. This is no. It's point. not. It's re- reprinted yeah. triggers. So Uluru yeah. is not the heel for this set. But um, but that would also explain why it expands out to sixteen because you can start adding G guards and stuff. But. True. I want to still see because they're gonna have to print more support because even if this is a G guard and you have to fight four start decks or these deck sets to get a, a play set of this G guard. Yeah. You're still missing four cards for the G zone. So we'll see. Next Tuesday stream, we'll reveal more information on that. Moving on, however, this is the little bit of a somber news section. Um, Not somber, but saddening, honestly. Um, V-Clan Collection Volumes 5 and 6 have actually dropped in English, finally. Mm -hmm. But not with a little bit of a backlash. Um, There is a... I won't say giant... But way, way too much amount of misprints and errors on the cards that should not be there. Um, 
If I can find the pictures again, I'm going to pull up a list that someone sent. I think this is just the surface of it. Like, these are some of the radars on screen that have already been caught by players and stuff. There's more that I've been keep, keep hearing. I even heard the fact that the Tachikaze grade one and two have the correct effects, but on the wrong units. <laughs> like they swapped and it's no bueno. Luckily, very luckily, and I'm proud of them for this. Brushiroad has heard this, has seen this and has decided to correct this with a tweet announcing that I'm just going to read it verbatim. We apologize for the inconvenience caused due to the card text errors presented in V Clan Collection Volume 5 6 and are currently arranging to produce, uh, pro yeah, produce replacement cards for exchange for all affected cards. More details will be announced soon. For more info, there's a link. I'm going to put that link potentially in an info card if it works up there, if not in the description. So, while the fuck up is a fuck up, I'm glad they're doing something about it. I'm happy they did this because remember a while back when we were talking about over triggers and my theory about what they could do? Yep. But you this could already be, show they can do it. This could be a really good way to fix the over trigger. Just like turn in your old over triggers, get your yes. new over triggers. I don't know what the kind of fix reduce the power change the effect i don't know whatever but that is one way to do it and yeah. if they're willing to do it for v clan collection that has a good amount it's not, like compared to doing just the over triggers changing let's say six of them just change the original six mm -hmm. that's six cards you're changing not almost a quarter of a fucking set this is probably at least 50 cards oh shit like the amount, it's not probably 50 erotic cards, but still, it's way too many to be a normal amount. Yeah, it, it, it's enough to probably make a dent in your sales. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, last bit of interesting news that's kind of Vanger related that I do want to cover. Um, yeah. It's Vanger related for the United States. Let's say it like that. <laughs> um, interesting enough eBay and TCG player have basically merged to work together or um, so they made a partnership. Exactly. What entails uh, that is, I don't know, know, but um it's a big move nonetheless. It's eBay. Like everybody knows eBay, uh and only nerds know TCG players. So this partnership is going to be very interesting to see what they bring. Granted uh, it is it is an acquire, so technically eBay bought out TCG Player in a sense. I guess. Still, like TCG Player was needed to be willing to sell, so it's also one of those things they did agree, probably set some terms. Yeah. Regardless, from what I've heard, a lot of stuff uh, is going to be changing for TCG Player for the good, but a lot of stuff that's already there is going to stay the same. So we're probably not going to see a big impact, but it's a nice, interesting thing to happen. Anyway, with that being said, I think that's it. I got nothing else I want to talk about. What about you? Uh, that, that pretty much covers everything for my empty. All right. There we go. From ride lines to misprints to shenanigans with Chrono Jet and potential G guards. Fun stuff. Uh, with that, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you everybody so much for watching episode 143 of V Time. If you like the video, please hit a like. Share it with your friends. Comment down below what you think that extra spicy knife card or uh brain 59th card in the st start stride deck set is mm -hmm. other than that if you like what we do here subscribe to the channel ring that bell to get notified maybe even follow us on twitter join our discord watch us on twitch or like us on facebook but that i've been philip and this is alex and we'll see you in the next one bye Woo. damn it why jennifer why you betray me <laughs> Why are you betraying me, Jennifer? You had one job. I love you're like, this is probably gonna be a $30 card. You're like, are you sure about that? You had one job.